Yo, what's going on guys? Bigfoot back in the brick room with Halo Heroes Series 18 review. Um, I am missing one of the figures. It is the figure from Halo Wars 1, I believe. Um, I have a figure from the Cyclops um, a few years back and I had no drive to get that figure. There was no, I've never played Halo Wars. Um, I did play Halo Wars 2, I think, and that was all right, but um, no Halo Wars, and so I had no desire to get that figure. As you see, I did open up the combat form, the human combat combat form, and I do have three of them. They were the only ones there. I picked them up very fast. Um, this, was a very, this was a fairly pick-through um, set uh, or box, and there was like one Atriox, one Honor Guard, and then one, I think there was a couple um, Mark VII um, Spartans. So... Um, I, I was debating if I want to open any of these, um, just based on the fact that I don't have multiples. Um, so I might just show them off close up just because I do like to keep these sealed a lot of the times. Um, so I might do that, but I will open up the, uh, flood combat form for sure. Um, but like, these are just a, like, I don't know. I love collecting these in the... Um, in the in the bubble packaging in the bubble packaging um, I just I really enjoy it but um, we do have this mark 5 I do have this uh, skin in Halo Infinite um, I don't doesn't appear to have any QC issues right off the bat the hands the elbows and the shoulders look solid um, the rifle is pretty bright um, not a big fan of the rifle but it does look good does match obviously nothing to the back um atriox i never got the original atriox from halo heroes um series i think that was i feel like it was almost series five maybe when it came when he came out maybe a little bit later um but needless to say we do have him in 18 i do have the gold atriox from the 50, 25 50 year anniversary no way it's 50 right either way you know what i'm talking about um his uh, mallet looks pretty cool. Um, his gravity mace, not mallet. Um, he looks pretty solid. The paint application on his head looks pretty good. Um, didn't seem on his left hand right here. You can kind of see a QC issue right there already. Um, so that's pretty cool. So I'll definitely keep this one. If I get another Atriox, I'll probably open him up. But this one definitely, just because he is um, in the bubble packaging, pristine in mid condition he'll probably stay like that um but it does look pretty good um another honor guard um i did want to get a handful of the light of saint helios honor guards i never did which i am mad about myself um i did have the original honor guard i think i still have him somewhere i think um but he does look pretty stunning his shoulders are pretty good there is some gold paint applications on his shoulder pads the um the helmet piece, the crown, and then on his thighs. Um, he looks pretty solid. I kind of wish for some reason there was some toe painting. I don't think it's accurate if there would be toe, but or like feet put, uh, printing, but looks super solid. He does look good. Um, obviously with his staff he comes with, that he has, um, is painted up also. I Like I said, I don't know if I want to open these just because I know they're more valuable if you keep them closed, and I don't have a double set. Usually I buy um, two of each for that exact purpose. And obviously we have this guy here. We'll open up this one to kind of show you what it looks like, at least in this, because he does have extra pieces. So you know, obviously have the pull tab here. Um, and the boat, they've really done a lot better with the bubble packaging, uh, being able to open it. Um, I remember having some other older Halo Heroes figures and they just were an absolute pain to get out. So the gun's kind of a pain to get out. No. Yeah. Then you do have the tentacle pieces of the flood infection form. So that. First, let's check out what figure I'm missing from the line. Oh, I'm only missing um, that figure um, with the flamethrower. Let's Lieutenant Colonel Kinsano. Yeah, I have that figure. Um, not the flamethrower, but I just there was no. I had no desire to pick that figure up, so I'm okay with that. I got all of them except that, which makes me happy. 
Um, I don't know if QC issues are common on the Halo or the, oh, maybe there is. No, maybe not, I don't know. There might be some QC issue here. Head looks solid. Le the right arm's good. The hand's good. I think this is a Halo 2 Marine, I believe. And I, I was trying to find was it a Halo Heroes or was it a blind bag that we got a Halo 2 Marine in? There's one that matches this color scheme very well. And I can't remember what it's from. Um, I was just playing the Halo 2 anniversary mission when uh, the Arbiter is met with a flood. And I wanted just a handful of these to make a diorama because um, it's just solid. Obviously, you guys have seen from Demarcations video. Um, of the Elite infection form with the new um, arm, so I won't go too much into detail there um, But solid his hands are all crooked and crinkled up looks pretty solid. Can we get a better view of that? The head looks amazing with just the, the solid white eyes. I think there's some supposed to be some gunk on his face just looks super good. I love this this olive green on these Marines. Um, super, super good. The, the leg printing with the green and the dark gray looks solid. There is some dark camo or some dark speckles in his leg. The other one is completely clear for the most part. We're just solid tan. Um, the back looks super good, just super, super detailed. Just some stellar, stellar figures. Um, let me see if I can find that Halo 2 Marine that I was referencing a second ago. That I can't remember if it was from a blind bag or from the Hero series. All right, guys. For a second, I thought I was completely high. Um, I did find a handful of my Marines, but first off, I wanted to show that I did have this character. Um, when I got her from the Cyclops, um, she came missing with the uh, right shoulder pad, which is fine. I don't really care. But she does have good paint applications. I do have the right the head. Um, right now she's having the, she wears a helmet, but put that back in the bucket. Um, I have this huge, huge bucket of figures that I need to sell. So if anyone's interested, let me know. It's actually interested. Um, I have a ton. So I knew I had some Halo. Oh, sorry. I just bumped the camera. I knew I had a bunch of Marines. Um, obviously I have a bunch of Halo Infinite Marines cause they're just a dime a dozen, but I thought I had more Halo two. It turns out that I have a ton of Halo 3 style Marines um, with no removable helmet, but I knew I had a handful. Granted, these look pretty good as Halo Halo 2, but not the same. Um, so I do have a bunch of those. This guy that came in the Hornet, um, he matches pretty good with their color application, so I do enjoy that about him. Um, so that's a standout figure for me. Um, and then... The reason why I want these figures is because it would look good next to Miranda Keys, right? It would look good. And I knew that I was on not on some kind of crack. These are the Halo 2 Marines that came out in the Halo universe. And this is what I was referencing that I originally thought of. Um, and look, he's just super lime green. Just does not look good comparatively. But this is based on the Halo 2, I believe because we have the Brutes that were from Halo 2. Um, and so we have this lime green. But then I believe he this character, um, this one's from Halo 2 also, um, that looks just stellar, right? He looks super good alongside this guy. I think I have some sealed. If I do, I'll probably crack them open just because I, I, I love this figure. He looks amazing. But then again, I'm not sure if he is Halo 2 because he just have the glasses and the Halo 2 ones, I don't remember if they had the glass. Either way, you know, they these ones I just prefer a lot more. Um, this is more of the original green that came out a while ago. And this is the newer green kind of, I think, with Halo Infinite, kind of, with the Pelican and whatnot. But they just look, they look, they go well together. You know, the boots fit, they, they match. Um, the chest plates match for the most part for the color. And so... It would just be nice to have a bunch of these, you know, in a diorama setup going against um, 
each other. But I'll stop rambling. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this this video. I know I didn't open them up, and you're probably like, ah, oh, you got to open them so we can actually see them and enjoy them. And I get that. Um, I just am a purist, and I love to keep some of these figures sealed for the most part. Um, that's just what that's just one of my pastimes. That's one of my hobbies, just to keep them sealed. Um, so. Anyways, guys, if you did like this video, um, if you like what I do with Mega Construct, reviewing the figures, kind of getting them not really early. I know uh, demarcations gets them really early. Um, but if you like seeing the reviews of these figures early-ish, um, make sure you smash that like button. Um, subscribe if you're new to the channel. It helps me out a ton and grows the channel. Um, if you like LEGO Star Wars videos, I had, do have um, two mocks back there. One that I just built last week that I got to do a video on and the official time-lapse video or show off of this one. I just not had a lot, a lot of time to do so. So if you like LEGO Star Wars modifications um, on sets, I will, I plan on getting some of the sets early, I think. Um, I guess not really early. I'm, I'm looking for them to hopefully come in early. If you feel like Halo, Halo Mega Constructs, I just did get the Banish Phantom in and completed. Um, and so if you guys like that kind of stuff, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, comment, let me know what you what you guys found and uh, know more about these uh, uh, Halo or the UNSC Marines. So, as always, guys, you know what it is. Take it easy.